Oh, hey up troops. Didn't see you there. It's A Littleton here again with another video. And this time we're going to go over how to attack basements on chalet. Let me just turn this engine off. Sorted. So we're going to go through how to attack the traditional snowmobile garage or the main breach as everyone seems to call it on basements on chalet, not through the wine side. Although I do think the wine side of the site is also a viable attack and we'll go through that in another video. I don't think basements on chalet is a particularly strong site to defend. We'll go through the usual, so prep phase drones, where to enter, what operators to use, some sort of guidance and tips along the way, and fingers crossed they can help you win more games when attacking the basements. Enough waffling and enough of the engine sound. Let's get stuck into it. Right, then here we are on the site then. Snowmobile slash wine. We're going to look at attacking this main breach to begin with. Now, I think it's a really easy site to attack in certain ELO levels. Once you get to the higher ELO, what I'm about to show you, if you're in sort of maybe Diamond and Champion, uh, what I'm about to show you might be a bit more difficult, but it still works. I did it myself the other day. Um, if you're in lower ELO, this works. It's every egg a bird. 99 times out of 10 way out. All that sort of good stuff. So the objective of, this, of, of what we're about to do is to open this main wall and to plant here. Now, the reason we plant here is because this wall is 99 times out of 10 reinforced way up. So you're going to stand here and you can plant. You can't be held from connector unless it's like a tiny, tiny pixel, but you're not going to be able to get shot from there. And you can't be shot from blue because you're tucked in here, essentially. So you can't be shot from here. The only thing you do have to watch out for is a C4 from here, perhaps. But the enemy aren't even going to know where you're planting. So don't worry about that just yet. So... Objective, open the wall, plant here. But of course, as always, there's a load of steps that we've got to do to get there. So let's start with the prep phase. Okay, so let's pretend we're in the prep phase now. And the first drone that you're to, going to want to get is in here in the lobby. Straight away, now you've got to watch out for anyone that's going to come and reinforce this hatch. But straight away, get into the lobby, get up on this unit. And if you, t if you get the angle right, you can jump up onto this shelf. And then just go along next to the books. From here, you can now see main stairs and blue stairs from one angle. Leave this drone here for the entire round if you can. The second drone that you're going to want to get. And this is something that has to be done a bit later on. And this one's really common. Is up here in the corner here so you can see what's going up on the mez. Then the third drone. I've opened this window in preparation. You just want to try and have a look through the drone hole. Don't, don't, please, please, don't drive through the drone hole. Because your drone's just going to get destroyed. Just have a look here. Try and see what I, um... Operators you can see and what they're doing somewhere near the wall. Is there a Cade or is Cade banned? Is it a bandit? Is it a mute? How are they stopping you getting that wall open? If they're not stopping you, brilliant. What you can do is if you're confident no one's near the wall, you can you can go straight through the drone hole and jump into behind this toolbox and bin area. And you can just sit here now. And you can see everything that's going on with the wall. Any attackers that are sorry, defenders that are messing about around this area aren't going to see your drone that's behind there. But it's a bit of a risk. Please look after your drones. They're the best utility any attacker has. So yeah, they're your prep phase drones that you want to uh, you want to look at. Okay, so in terms of operators that you're going to need to complete this strat, it's going to be at least two. You're going to need a Thermite, and I believe you're going to need an Osa. Now, the Osa isn't mandatory. It's just because she brings EMPs, but having the shield outside here to cover angles with isn't massively useful. So definitely a Thermite. Ace and Habana, not as good because they don't bring smokes. The Thermite does bring smokes, as you can see there. So Thermite and Osa... If you've got more members in the stack, uh, a fuse wouldn't go amiss, and we'll talk about why in a second, and a twitch wouldn't go amiss either, and again, we'll talk about why in a second. So why do we bring the fuse? Well, this is a thing that was shown in Pro League, and a few people are aware of the strat now, but I'm putting it in this video anyway because it's really, really useful. So let's just go down into the basement drone that I've got here. So you'll see that this sort of purple slash wooden beam ceiling is solid ceiling. You can't get through that at all. However, this wooden looking patch here is soft ceiling. You can get through that. It's the same in connector and it's the same in wine until you get to the back there where it changes on the side here. So what we're going to do, and this is the plan, is we're going to fuse the window up here on the mez, on the mez double. And it's one of the pallets is going to land underneath where this drone is and open up that line of sight. So you're either going to make a load of vertical downstairs or you're going to get that bandit battery off the wall. So the first one, if we jump on the drone quick enough, you'll see the pallet come down and land there. Let's open that vertical. Pop another one down. Now, sometimes it takes two pallets. Sometimes the first pallet only opens the top layer of wood. Sometimes it takes two pallets. But you can see there it's open. It's in the right place anyway. So we go again. See the other pallet come down. Now you see it's gone all the way through. And the third one. Should to get some plus 20s for the bandit batteries. 
Pallet goes through the floor. There you go. Shock wire destroyed. Plus 20. Now, what you can do... If you've got um, a fused pallets left, you can then hold long angles as well through here, right the way down into wine. Um, but you, if you've still got fused pallets left and you've still got a couple of charges left, put it on this floor here. And this will open, open up a load of vertical below. We drop down now. You can see we've got rid of pretty much the whole floor through wine here. Yes, it's not always the best opening vertical with fused because you can see it takes... Um, only the top layer off, but if you've got two charges left and you put two charges there, all of this is going to be open. Another reason why we take fuse is because what we're about to do in this strat is a lot easier if we have this hatch open. Even if this hatch is reinforced, fuse takes hard reach charges and gets the hatch open as well. So it's it's something that's nice to have. It's, it's not a guaranteed strike. You've seen it's taken pretty much all the utility to get the, the charges off down here. But if someone's bandit tricking as well, being able to do that will definitely get them off the bandit trick. So we're now on to Osa's role. So what does Osa bring to this? Well, first things first, Osa brings the EMPs, and that's critical for Thermite getting the wall open. What you have to check with Osa is that the uh, Cade or Bandit is where you think it is. Do not waste these EMPs. Do not throw these EMPs without knowing where the Cade Claw is. Now, the first thing to do is, you remember that pre-placed drone that we had in lobby that we placed up here on the shelves? If you place this here, you're going to be able to see if Cade... If the other team has got a sneaky Cade, and if they've got a sneaky Cade, they'll put the Cade Claw here somewhere. And your drone's here, you're going to see that Cade do that. So, the sneaky Cade Claw goes there. If you EMP here, you ain't going to get that Cade Claw. And it's really frustrating to get, because you can't get it from the lobby door. You have to actually go into lobby to get it off, and if you go into lobby, you're susceptible to getting shot from other places. You've got to drone it out. It takes more time. So, please drone out where the denial is before you throw it. The amount of I play a lot of hot... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> That's staying in. I play a lot of hard breach, and the amount of times I'm stood here like this with a thermite charge in my hand, waiting, like looking, going, someone gonna help me here, or what's going on? And the, like an Osa or a lion just turns up and throws the EMP down there. It, it, please don't do it. Um, I was gonna say Google where it is, drone where it is. Right, so, we know the K-Core is here. If you throw this at the bottom of the window, it'll get the K-Core off. You can see there, plus five EMP. Now we can, now we can thermite the wall. That's Osa's role. Now, what I'm going to find difficult now is to play Osa and show you what I mean in terms of opening the wall, because I can't play Osa and Thermite. However, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reload the clip, I'll open the wall with Cage Shotgun or with Tachanka or something, and then I'll come back with Osa as if the wall's been Thermited. And then we'll get into what Thermite does. Ta-da! The wall's open. That's been Thermited. I know it hasn't, but let's pretend it has. Now, in terms of Osa, you want to get your shield up against this rock. The key thing is, I say you want to put up against the rock, you, you want to be able to see blue door. That's the, the, the biggest part. So if the, the thermite charge is more this way, you probably want to put the shield to over here a little bit. It depends where the, the thermite charge has gone off for you to be able to see blue door. The second one, you want to be able to watch a bit of blue door, but also connect it and a bit of wine if you can. So you see from here, if we need to, we can peek around the side to see wine there. Now, just bear in mind, when you're playing Osa, you're not invincible. A lot of Osa players seem to think that they're just invulnerable behind these shields. They're just like, yeah, I'm safe here forever. An impact grenade just completely scuppers all these plans. And this is the beauty of Siege, isn't it? You can have the best plan in the world, but if the enemy takes, like, one extra... If there's if there's a lesion there instead of a mute, the lesion has impacts. Or if there's a um, an Azami plane there instead of a... I don't know. That's a, it's weird, anyway. when you can't think of an operator off the top of your head for no reason. There's an Azami playing there instead of Tachanka. Azami has impact, Tachanka doesn't. So you've just got to, again, adapt to everything that you see. But the, the point of the Osa here is, once the wall's open, that we're going to get onto what Thermite does in a second. But all Osa needs to do is watch blue, or if someone's already watching blue, watch Y. There's only two places you can be attacked from during this plant, because we're going to take main stairs in a second. But you can only be stopped from blue or connector, or the rotate. That's it. So you can, there's only like one, two, three places to watch. And from these shields, especially this one, you can watch blue and the rotate. And from this one, you can watch the rotate or wide. Bear in mind, when you're getting this, um, this plan down, it's not going to be a 5v5. So fingers crossed, there can't be five enemies rolling about this side. But that's the role of the Osa. So we talked about Osa. We talked about Fuse. We haven't talked about the fireworks. And this is where my boy Thermite comes in. Thermite the wall. Whichever side you can get, depending on the denial, you preferably want to be on the right. And the wall's open. Wait, what? Hello? 
I've never seen that before. I'm going to keep that in the video just as like, I've never seen that before, but now we've got a log of that happening. How does, does anyone know why that happens? Does another one open it? But now it's soft so the enemy can just shoot this from the other side. I've never seen that before. I'm keeping that in the video and now we've got a record of that happening and I'll report it and say we've got a we've got a bug there. Let me just get rid of those struts. Right then, so hello. Thank you. Never seen that happen before. Why would that happen? If anyone knows why that's happened, let me know. Anyway, so the wall's open, we've got the OSA shield down. Now we need to do the critical execute. The thing that I haven't mentioned yet, and the key to this whole uh, attack is generally what the fuse will do after he's done and what he's doing on Mez, is that you need to take main stairs control. So the fuse can be up here, or someone else can come in from, from bar, um, or from games on the other side, and you have to take main stairs. If you don't take main stairs, whoever's defending here, you're going to plant there, right? So whoever's defending main stairs, you get someone who's playing here sometimes, which can be difficult to turf out. But you've got to get somebody on main stairs here. And you've got... If there's somebody behind this bootcase, you have to kill them behind the bootcase. But you can't do this job without having control of main stairs. And that could be Fuse's job after he's done this and open the hatch. He can come downstairs. Or the person that you want taking main stairs, if there's three of you, is the best gunner. You need to have... so, And ideally, it could be someone with grenades as well because then they can grenade. If you throw the grenade at this piece of wood here, it'll drop down and land here. Um, so with someone with grenades would be helpful as well. But anyway, that's I, I make that sound dead easy. You've just got to take main stairs. It's one of the most difficult things to do, but you have to do it for this strat to work. So just to reiterate again, we've OSA'd or EMP's the wall so Thermite can open it. We've got OSA with a couple of shields outside, at least OSA outside with Thermite. We've then got a gunner who's taking main stairs, right? Now from here, the only other thing to check, there's a lot of things to check in the... The only other thing to check is that there's no ADS here. Because you're going to need both smokes. If there is an ADS, OSA can throw an EMP at this wall here, and it will disable the uh, ADSs on the other side. And your two smokes are going to go, one, all the way back to blue door, and connect the door. And you can see now from here, connector can't see anything, and blue can't see anything. And from this point, you literally just sprint in, turn around and get the plant down when you're getting the plant down make sure that you turn around don't plant i've said this on the other video don't plant like this because if someone pushes you you've got to turn around one way or the other plant this way if someone pushes you from connector you can get off if someone pushes you from the rotor you can get off or from blue the whole point of osa's job here is to watch blue the person who's got control of main stairs can be watching the rotate and uh, connector but ideally the rotate because if you're watching connector you're exposed to the rotate you can even push down to this angle here and hold connected from here. But Thermite is pretty safe whilst trying to plant here. There's not much that's going to stop you apart from a C4. A C4? A C4 that comes from here. It's, it's foolproof. Honestly, it is. It works all the time. Open the wall, take main stairs, watch blue door. That's it. I know I've been through a lot of extra steps. The fuse thing's optional. It helps if you've got a fuse that can do that because then you can open the hatch. If you've got the hatch open, it just means that no one can play around here. No one can start pushing through here because fuse is just going to be watching them through the hatch. Honestly, if you're in any rank lower than um, Emerald, I'll say. If you're in Emerald and below, this will work. I promise you. I really do. You've just got to make sure you do the steps right. Now, there is an argument to say, even though we've been through that, that attacking this side of the site is also an, a better option or is also fairly easy and it is and we'll go over through another video with that all you have to do if you want to attack this side of the site is clear this area here and then you open this side wall and you come and plant here you can punch that out and back into there if you're feeling really fruity and you're a bit more hidden and plant there and then if someone's in this area you hold from this side and if someone's down here you can hold from blue it's again it's it's an easy site to attack i think this is one of the worst sites on the map and there's probably a reason why you don't see it at higher level as much by the way the thumbnail i said don't plant behind the bin and the reason for that is and not everyone knows this the bin's not bulletproof you can see the bullets on the on the wall so if you're planting behind the bin anyone who's in blue excuse me doesn't have to expose themselves to the breach they can just sit here and fill you with lead from the, the other side of the bin. 
and they don't even have to expose themselves to the breach. Also, anyone from Connector can see you, obviously. Um, but even from here, you can stop anyone planting. So yeah, there's no reason why you shouldn't win chalet basements anymore. So there we have it. That's how I like to attack chalet basements. I think it's fairly straightforward. Take main stairs, open the wall, and plant. It's it's as simple as it gets, really. It's not a good place to defend, in my opinion. For any of you that got this far in the video, or even if you watched 10 seconds, actually, thank you for always watching the videos and supporting me. It means more than I can put into words on this video right now. Other than that, I'll catch you next time. Cheers!